Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching each of you how to secure your Windows operating system manually, as well as using the Tor browser in addition to your operating system security. So, if each of you are unaware, the Tor browser is a browser that proxies your connections through multiple different nodes in order to get to the end result, aka the website. Not only this, but there's also another layer to the Tor browser that allows you to access the deep web or dot onion addresses. In order to get the Tor browser, open up your web browser, your regular web browser, whether it be Internet Explorer, Google, Bing, Firefox, whatever you may have, and go to www.torproject.org. Go ahead and click Download Tor. Sometimes it'll automatically download for the correct system as well as your bit. So if you have a 32-bit, it'll automatically download a 32-bit. If you have a 64-bit, it'll automatically download for your 64-bit operating system. Once that is done, before you run the executable or the installer, make sure that you have the correct date and the correct time on your computer. The reason being is because when Tor proxies you through the different nodes, you have to have an original accurate reading of where you are. This will enable Tor to securely and accurately connect you to what you're trying to get to. Then, also, once you're done downloading Tor and installing Tor, go ahead and go to your Windows settings. So, click the Windows button, go to settings. Then, what we would like to do is proxy change proxy settings and here we have two different options we have an automatic proxy setup which is use a proxy server for ethernet or wi-fi connections these settings don't apply to vpn or virtual private network connections now the second option is manual proxy setup this is how you set up a proxy on your own and you get to select where you're proxying through uh, in order to get to your final destination. Now why would we use a proxy on Windows in addition to using a proxy on Tor? Kinda seems silly, doesn't it? Well, not necessarily. A proxy on your Windows operating system helps you secure the background running objects uh, that is not being used through Tor but is being used on your network in order to secure yourself from revealing your actual front-facing IP address. Now if you're familiar with networks you know that there are two different uh, IP addresses that our computers use to contact uh, our desired end result so a server database website etc there is a front facing address which is publicly seen and that's how attackers attempt to attack our computers and then there is our back facing IP address or our home address if you will so, we need to cover up the front-facing address. Using a proxy address on the Windows operating system rather than just through Tor allows us to become completely anonymous through basically anything that we do on our Windows operating system rather than just through a browser. So in order to get this, go back to your web browser, 
and go to www.free-proxy-list.net and you can select from a variety of options and many many pages as we see here of proxy addresses now for you to get the best results you should use one that is within your country using any different address than what you already have allows you to still become secure despite the fact that it's already in your country once each of, each of you have selected the proxy address that you wish to use you're also going to want to use the port as well so how do we do this well as each of you can see I use the one within the United States 34 233 87 146 and I pasted it into my address bar here under the use proxy server setting then the port we want to use is the one listed next to that address so we use 3128 now did this actually work make sure that once you've pasted these into their appropriate areas you click save and then if you would like to check if it worked go to what is my IP in a search bar and search as we can see 34 233 87 146 which is located in Ashburn Virginia which is most certainly not my state actually that's quite far away but it did in fact work so this is now what is showing where I'm located so that does indeed work so now we are going to exit out of this and we're going to go to our Tor browser we are going to double click and start our Tor browser which should be installed by the time you get your proxy server set up on your Windows operating system and sometimes it does take a moment okay and we connected to Tor so now we're using very 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 many strong proxies uh, on a web browser now how do we access the deep web well you could ha already have a dot onion address selected uh, in terms of you've been invited to view a dot onion address or you know somebody who built a website on the deep web another way is to search for onion addresses So you can type in onion address index and here we have paste.scratchbook.ch and from deep web six years ago written in plain text and it's been viewed almost half a million times. So there's the Silk Road, a forum deep search and many many other uh, different things <laughs> I do want each of you to exercise extreme caution because the, there are a lot of illegal websites on the deep web I highly recommend that um, you should only use ones that you absolutely know of that are safe and secure and does not have illegal activities on it however if you wish you can go through and you can click on them and figure it out on your own but if the FBI comes well you did not get it from me because I do not condone each of you using this for illegal purposes anyways 
Now you're extremely secure. To secure yourself even further, you could try looking for a free VPN, and that'll add even more security. Now, if you want, um, if you want NSA level security, you could get Tails operating system. Tails OS. And now it's a little bit different to download and install, but it is essentially once it is completed, it is like much, much like Linux, uh, a lot like Debian and Red Hat and um, Mint and CentOS and all that. So. That is how you become completely, completely secure, and that is how you access the deep web. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show each of you how to build your own deep web website, which is really easy until you start getting into programming, unless, of course, you're a programmer, then it'll be a piece of cake. So, everybody, thank you for watching, and thank you all for the support and the views and likes please do be sure to subscribe if these videos are actually teaching you something if not then just skip on to the next ones and um, I will see each of you in the next tutorial